one of those guys who had to overcome major odds just to get to the NBA. Reportedly, his father abandoned the family when Jimmy was an infant. Mom kicked Jimmy out when he was 13. The obstacles and adversity go on and on, yet he's made it and made it big. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Mike Budenholzer and I got a chance to talk for a bit. Of course, the conversation veered to the challenge of defending LeBron James, and he said there's not a lot of good options with him. He can really do it all. I think you just have to try and stay in front of him, and if he gets in close, you have to bring help. And guys, we've seen LeBron really force the issue as far as getting into the lane. We'll see how they do. Thanks a lot, Doris. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. And he jams it with authority. Puts it down with pop. Rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hanging finish. I tell you what, they are not backing off at all, are they? Now here's Millsap. 20 points for him last game against Detroit. Cephalosia kicks to Millsap. Six on the shot clock. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Stolen by O'Quinn. LeBron against T. Takes the three. And again, New York with the triple. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. And the points are starting to add up in a hurry, especially when you're giving up those looks from deep. And finished off by Horford. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just with the doctor ordered us, some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. I'll tell you what, fellas, that could give them the energy boost they've been looking for. Shots good by Butler. And the offense has come together immediately. I mean, they're threatening to run away with this thing already. Greg, it's hard to imagine they'll stay this hot for four quarters, but if they even approximate that, watch out. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Boy, I tell you, last season was a big one for the Hawks and Coach Budenholz. Their dominant season won him multiple Coach of the Month titles, and eventually he won the Coach of the Year award. It was pretty obvious, I thought, Greg, that, that Budenholzer was the deserved coach of the year. I mean, Steve Kerr, there are a lot of good names you could put in there. But what he's done taking the Hawks to the top of the East, a few saw that coming. I, I agree with you. I mean, he has transformed this Hawks team over the past couple of years, has a wonderful team game. And you know, obviously, a lot of influence coming from Pop when he was with San Antonio. But he is really, I think, redefining how the game of basketball is being played at the pro level. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you. you there, Greg. And New York making a change here. Nick Dermott's checked in. Yeah, and Al Horford really has become one of those elite two-way big men. And, and that's very rare. You look at most bigs in the NBA, they excel at either one end or the other, but this is one of those guys that does it all. Irving. 